Huawei, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Welcome to DepEd TV. My name is Sir Pao, your techie teacher in technology and livelihood education. Today, join me as we develop your life skills in information and communications technology or ICT. To those watching us live via DepEd TV official Facebook, do not forget to post a picture of yourself while watching and use the hashtag I love TLE. Make sure that your post is public. And also please observe proper netiquette. Netiquette means network or internet etiquette. Do not forget to be polite and respectful at all times. Avoid posting foul or harsh words. So think before you click. Be ready! Get your pen, paper, and self-learning module, and let's begin our ICT journey. Once again, learners, welcome to another fun, exciting, and brand new day of learning. In our last episode, we learned about terminating and connecting electrical wiring and electronic circuits. As a review, Let's have the newest game show on DepEd TV. This is Guess the Picture, DepEd TV TLE Game Edition. Let us call our friend, the teacher from the future, Teacher Ellie, to tell us about this game. Thank you, Sir Paul. The objective of the game is to figure out the name of the tool and to use the letters provided to spell it correctly. You only have five seconds to answer each item. Each correct answer will earn you a Techno Badge. Thank you, Teacher Ellie. You're welcome, Sir Pao. Let's begin. Here is our first picture. That's correct. You have earned your first Techno Badge. A soldering iron is a device that applies heat to melt a solder in attaching two metal parts. Show us our next picture. You are right! Claim your second Techno Badge now. A soldering iron stand is a place where the soldering iron is placed during usage. This will keep the soldering iron away from flammable materials. The next picture is... That's correct! Take your third Techno Badge! The needle nose flyer is also known as the long nose flyer and it is used to hold small parts. Next picture, please. You are right. Here is your fourth techno badge. Our stripper is a portable handheld tool used by workers, especially electricians, for removing protective coating of an electric wire. Show us our next picture. Very good! Catch your fifth techno badge. A test light is a simple electrical device that you can use to see whether a circuit is carrying current. Here's another picture. Perfect! You are right! Here is another techno badge for you. Flathead screwdriver are used to loosen or tighten slotted screws. Next picture, please. Amazing! That's the right answer. Here is your techno badge. A desoldering tool is used for removing soldered wires 
and components on printed circuit boards. Let's have another picture. Perfect. Here is your techno badge. A multimeter is used to test the integrity of circuits and the quality of electricity in computer components. And the last picture is... Well done! Here is your final techno badge. A circuit tester has a series of lights that shows the wiring state in the outlet so the technician can verify that it has been installed correctly. Congratulations on completing the quest! In the last episode, you also learned about electronic circuits. An electronic circuit is composed of individual electronic components such as resistors, transistors, capacitors, inductors, and diodes connected by conductive wires or traces through which electric current can flow. It also has the following components. The source, the consuming device, the controlling device, the protecting part, and the connecting material. Moreover, we also discuss soldering and thinning. Soldering is the process of soldering wires to electrical connectors, splices, and terminal logs, while thinning is the coating of the material to be soldered with a light coat of solder or lead. And lastly, we also talk about the steps to manage health and safety at work. And these are Number 1. Spotting the hazards And number 2. Assessing the risk In addition to that, we also learn the types of workplace hazards which are safety hazards and health hazards And now, I am turning it over to Sir Pao for our testing electronic components part 1 lesson Does this look familiar to you? The first picture shows an actual circuit connection. How about this? While the second picture shows a schematic diagram of the actual circuit. A schematic diagram shows the components and the interconnections of the circuits using standardized symbolic representations. In the electrical and electronics industry, a schematic diagram is often used to describe the design of the equipment. Schematic diagrams are often used for the maintenance and repair of electronic and electromechanical systems. In today's lesson, we are going to learn the common electronic components and their schematic symbols. The first component is the resistor. Resistors are used to reduce current flow, adjust signal levels to divide voltages bias active elements and terminate transmission lines. The next is the capacitor. A capacitor is a device that stores electrical energy in an electric field. A capacitor can store electric energy when it is connected to its charging circuit. However, that stored energy can dissipate when it is disconnected from its charging circuit. So, it can only be used like a temporary battery. Capacitors are commonly used in electronic devices to maintain the power supply while the batteries are being changed. Our next component is the inductor. An inductor, also called a coil, choke, or reactor, is a passive two-terminal electrical component that temporarily stores energy in a magnetic field when electric current flows through it. Another component is the DC or direct current source. An electromechanical cell or battery is a prime example of DC power. Direct current may flow through a conductor such as a wire but can also flow through semiconductors, insulators or even through a vacuum as in electron or ion beams. The next one is the wire. A wire is a single, usually cylindrical, flexible strand or rod of metal. 
wires are used to bear mechanical loads or electricity and telecommunication signal. Our sixth component is the switch. A switch is an electrical component that can disconnect or connect the conducting path in the electrical circuit, interrupting the electric current or diverting it from the conductor to another. The last component is the load. An electrical load is an electrical component or portion of a circuit that consumes electric power. This is the opposite of a power source, such as a battery or generator, which produces power. Examples of loads in electronic power circuits are appliances and lights. Now that we are familiar with the basic electronic parts and its schematic symbol, let's have an experiment. What materials we need for this experiment? In doing this activity, we must observe safety first. Wear protective eyewear to protect your eyes from getting hurt. For our first step, let us draw a schematic diagram of the materials we have for making a simple circuit. Second step, after creating a schematic diagram, insert the light bulb into the receptacle. Attach the copper wire to both ends. Third step, attach the copper wires to the switch terminals. Fourth step, connect the wires to the battery. What would happen to the light bulb if we turn the switch on? A, the light bulb will light up continuously. Or B, the light bulb will not light up. I'll give you five seconds to think of the answer. Is your answer letter A or letter B? Let's find out what the answer is by turning on the switch. Ready? What happened to the light bulb? If your answer is letter A, you are correct. The light bulb will light up. I hope you had fun learning the first part of our testing electronic components lesson. To give us a recap, once again, here is teacher Ellie, your teacher from the future. For the first part of our testing electronic components lesson, you have learned how to make schematic diagram of an electrical circuit. You were also able to learn the following electronic components and their schematic symbols. The resistor, capacitor, inductor, direct current or DC source, wires, and loop. Lastly, you also learned how to create a simple circuit. In preparation for our eighth lesson, please borrow a multi-tester. Also prepare the following materials. A resistor, a capacitor, a diode, and a transistor. Why? It's because we will be learning how to use a multi-tester in testing an electronic component. Thank you, Teacher Ellie. Learners, remember your homework, okay? Try to borrow your family member's multi-tester and also politely ask someone to buy your resistor, capacitor, diode, and transistor. You can watch the replay of this episode on YouTube and Facebook. Just search for Debit TV Official and have fun learning. Once again, I am your tech teacher, Sir Pao, saying quality education will be achieved when one is eager to learn and is innovative. In TLE, there's life. Together we learn as one. And this is DepEd TV. Hashtag, I love TLE.